Josh from the 570 and I've got a really neat product. Um, I'm starting to get known um, for, for electric shock dog training collars. Um, so this is another one. The company reached out to me and asked me if I'd showcase their product, do a little product review, uh, talk to you folks about the product itself, and then uh, do some demonstration. So I'm uh, more than happy to oblige. So if I murder the name of this product, I'm sorry. But it's B U U O C. Biok. Um, Biok. The company Biok came from Biok was kind enough to send me her, their version of a dog electric training collar. So, in this video, like I said, I'm going to do a review. I'm going to do some testing of this product. But in this video, just this video, I'm going to do an unboxing so you guys can see what comes in this product when you get it new from Amazon. Alright, guys, so here we have it the Biok remote dog training collar. I've done a few of these uh, videos. I've tested some. So I actually have a pretty good uh, variety of different types of collars. So um, when I get to the review part of these videos, I'll be able to do a pretty good comparison. Um, and I encourage you guys, if you guys have uh, a company that um, has collars of, of similar nature or any products, I do product reviews of all different types. You guys know me for my self-defense products, I've got a, a really cool baton video coming out. Um, so if you guys want me to review any products, email is in the description down below. You can always reach me on there, send me your stuff, and I will review them. So if you get this, they do sell it on Amazon. They also have a website. But this is available on Amazon. Some features of the collar are listed on the side. It has a beat mode, remote control feature, a vibration mode, and of course the shock mode. Uh, in a later video, um, after the review, I will be doing a test on myself of the shocking feature. You guys always love those. Um, kind of morbid, but you guys love to see me in pain. It's pretty funny. Alright. So, it also features, it says it has a low battery indicator. It's got a waterproof rating. So apparently you can use this, um, like say your dog went uh, for a swim. You don't have to take the collar off, it'll still work. Um, large capacity battery. That's a, a big key feature. I've uh, featured some uh, shock collars that just, um, they work great, but the collar itself, the receiver, only lasts a day. So that is that is a big feature. And multi-training modes. Being able to switch from vibration to, to the beep feature, and then the shock if you need it. Really, really cool. Uh, looks like it comes in different colors. That's pretty neat. So we're going to open the box here. The packaging is really uh, sturdy. This is a very good quality box. So um, expect to get a uh, quality product if their packaging if their packaging is really nice. Um, so pretty pretty simple design for the packaging. We got some instructions, um, quick tip and user guide here. Talks about not only setting the the collar up, but different ways on how to use the collar. We got a user's manual. Just like any user manual, whether it's a user manual for a car or a user manual for a piece of electronics that you um, get, they're always important. Make sure you read them. Uh, it'll talk about you know troubleshooting, uh, warranty information, basics on how to use the product, and what should come in the packaging. So as you can see here. It's got a charging cable, instruction pamphlet, you got uh, the remote itself, the receiver, um, covers for when you're not uh, wanting to either shock that hard or not at all, um, so it's comfortable on your dog. Um, and then the contact points itself. Um, as you can see, it comes with two different length contact points. That's important as well. Um, that would be like the difference between uh, having this collar on, like say, a Yorkie or uh, one of the mixed breeds of smaller dogs versus uh, a long coat, a long haired dog, um, like a Husky or a German Shepherd or something like that. You need the longer probes to actually get under the coat itself and down to the skin for this product to be effective. So in this uh, pamphlet, you know, just some, like I said, some simple uh, troubleshooting, some important safety stuff. Uh, little things about the collar, uh, how to use it, how to charge it. Really, really great stuff. So, I'm going to set that over here. The collar itself and the remote. 
what I do like about this, like I said, this is an unboxing, so this is uh, pretty much the first time I'm seeing this. I do love the texture of this thing. Compared to other remotes, it's a really um, well textured. It's very nicely shaped. I do like this feature with the lanyard. That way you can uh, put it in your hand and like say, go for a run and have your dog with you. Um, or uh, when you're hunting, uh, that would be a really good feature. That way you don't lose your remote while you're out and about. But as you can see here, some of the other remotes that I've encountered, um, there was like a mode button where you had to switch from mode to mode to mode. And uh, whether it's a multiple dog thing or just switching from uh, vibration to a beep to a shock, I really like that it's got multiple buttons on the, on the face of this here. So you don't have to necessarily switch modes. You can access them really quickly from the beep to the vibration to the shock mode. That's really cool. It's got an intensity button, setting button, all here will be available on this LED screen. Uh, let's see if it comes charged. Uh, it also has a lockout button, so the, the buttons can't be accessed when you don't want them to. Alright, so it does come charged. Uh, looks like it's fully charged. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so yeah, you can switch uh, switch through the modes here. Um, vibration intensity. Looks like that goes up to 9. Uh, shocking intensity. Looks like that goes up to 9 as well. Like I said, I will be uh, shocking myself with this collar. Um, I think it's kind of hypocritical um, for you to use this on your pet and not know what it feels like. So if you're a dog owner, um, make sure you take the ride yourself. That way, like, you know, it's not it's not torture. These are training devices. Um, but I feel like every owner um, should know what these collars feel like. That way, when you put it on your dog, um, there's a little bit of sympathy when uh, you see your dog kind of wince because you don't know. Um, the dog's not going to be able to tell you how hard it's shocking them. You're going to have to go off their body language, um, whether they flinch or or maybe yip or something like that. They'll they'll let you know, and it's important to know what it feels like. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's see here. Looks like the remote itself times out pretty fast, so the screen doesn't stay on. Two channels. That's important um, for multiple pets. Oh, pretty cool. All right, I love, uh, like I said, I love the texture. The back is, is a rubber. It's like an anti-slip kind of deal. Uh, let's see if I can show you. So the front, it's like plastic. The buttons are, are what seem to be high quality. And then the back itself has like an anti-skid, anti-slip texture to it. It's like a rubbery feel um, to keep it in your hand. I could see that being important if, uh, if you're out and about and like say, uh, you're on a camping trip or canoeing, like I said, you could use this with your uh, your dog being in the water. It shouldn't affect it. Um, so that's really important. Charging cable, um, USB Type-C. That's another key feature with the USB um, plug itself. So you can charge this off of multiple, multiple different platforms. Your computer, um, all of us have cell phone chargers. A lot of us, um, you have like the outlets in your chairs or in your end tables, coffee tables. There's so many things out there nowadays. You could charge this off the back of your TV where you'll be able to charge this. And like I said, with the long battery life, that's a really, really cool feature. So let's see. Where... I'll be interested to see if this fits tank. Um, as you guys know from my videos, if you do watch my videos, I have a great name. This goes up to 25 inches. I'll be honest, I don't know how um, thick his neck is. So. Um, it looks pretty stout. It looks like it has a lot of adjustment. Um, so I'll be, like I said, really interested to see if this fits Tank. I have a feeling if it fits my neck, it'll fit Tank's neck. So You'll want to take these. Here's your accessory bag here. You'll want to take these probes and screw them into here. Obviously, it's not going to work unless you do that. The access, your port there to plug this in and charge it is right there. Your on and off button. Um, let me see this. Uh, okay, it looks like... Oh, okay. It comes charged. 
Um, looks like it's pretty much all the way fully charged. You're going to want to charge this before before you use it. But let's just do a little um, vibration. Oh, okay. I just hit the vibration. That's pretty cool. It's pretty intense. Let's turn it up here. Uh, let's see. Settings. Turn this up. Cool. Settings. Let's turn it down to a one. Very nice. Very nice. Um, the shocking feature won't be uh, really useful until I put those probes in. It looks like it also, a lot of these companies come with like a test light and that's what this is. This little plastic piece in here, I'm not going to take it out just yet. Um, once you have those probes in there, you'll be able to put those, uh, those ends of this tester on those probes and then be able to hit the shock button and this will light up and it'll actually let you know that it's working without you having to necessarily shock yourself. So that's a pretty cool feature. I like that. I love when these, uh, these collars come with that. Let's see how loud the beep is. That's the shock feature. Okay. So it looks like it, it beeps every time. Um, looks like it beeps every time you hit it. So let me try to hold it down. Okay, so if you hold it down, it keeps beeping. That's good. Um, in particular, Tank doesn't really run away, but sometimes he ignores you. You know, he's up there sniffing stuff and he's in the yard looking at stuff or maybe he sees something. A lot of times I just have to hit the beep to remind him to come back and it kind of just gets his attention. So like once your dog is uh, used to these collars, um, you having this remote in your hand will, will be enough. He'll understand or she'll understand that um, you want her to pay attention. So that's really cool. So there you have it guys. I'll be doing a review in the next video of this product. I'm going to put it on tank, test it for a couple days, uh, test the, the range, the battery life, let you guys know whether this product is it's high quality or not, whether it lives up to its uh, expectations or um, claims. So I'll be, uh, I'm really excited for this. I love testing these dog shock collars. So this is Josh from the 570, and this was the unboxing of the Bjork Remote Dog Training Collar. Stay tuned for future videos regarding this collar. I got a review, and then I've got a test on myself coming up. You guys are going to love it. This is Josh from the 570, and we'll see you next time.